So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Kind of a hot and muggy afternoon here in Pennsylvania, but that's not gonna last long. I just got a uh, weather alert on my phone and checked the radar. There are some storms that are gonna be moving in here pretty soon, so I don't have a whole lot of time. But it's been a pretty good day. Uh, first thing this morning, we had a uh, sunrise split. We had a bunch of friends come over and we ran the uh, Wolf Ridge Compact Commercial Splitter for about an hour. Like we started like quarter after six or something like that this morning. And I mean, we knocked out a lot of firewood in not very much time at all. I'll put that video up above here in case you didn't see it. But this afternoon before it rains, I'm gonna try out the uh, Toro 6000 Series Zero Turn and the uh, 37 horsepower Walker on a section of bank that I always have to run the string trimmer on. It'll be a good test to see how they do on the side hill and going straight up a hill. And uh, I'm not sure, you know, they're kind of different types of mowers. So I don't know if one will be much better than the other or, or what, but we're gonna find out.
Well, I don't know what to say about that. I'm almost going to have to call it a tie. Uh, the walker, I could get up there a little bit higher, which means that's less you have to trim. But the walker broke traction before the Toro. The Toro, I couldn't get up quite as high, but the front end started coming off the ground. So, I don't know. That's kind of a tie on this one, I think. I mean, the walker did get up the hill further, no doubt about that. You could see that on the video. Uh, but it broke traction before the Toro. I kind of had to get a run at it to get up that high. On the side hill, though, I do think the walker's a little bit more uh, stable. Didn't feel like it wanted to slide down the hill. I'm not sure. It's kind of strange, really, because, you know, like that Toro's like a conventional zero turn. The walker's got the deck out front. That's a tough call right there. I mean, both of them are pretty good. I, don't, I really don't know what to say, to tell you the truth. Let me know in the comments what you think you know, look better on video making it up that hill. I'm not sure. The walker did get up a little bit higher and it's a little bit better on the side hill. I may be leaning towards the walker, but uh, the Toro didn't break traction. So I don't know. Kind of six to one, half dozen the other. I need to take a break from mowers for a second and uh, show you this pile of firewood. Now when we started uh, splitting wood this morning, there was already a pile here, but we literally uh, about tripled it in size there in about an hour. We had uh, one, two, three, four, five people total. I mean, four would be plenty, five was even better. But uh, yeah, we knocked a lot of wood out quick. That is all, well, not all, that's about 80% uh, oak, and then there's some cherry in there as well. Uh, that won't be for this year, that'll be for the following year. But uh, that's some pretty nice stuff right there. I'm just gonna mow that little section over there before it rains, and uh, we'll wrap this up. <laughs> this is my opinion on these two mowers now keep in mind it's my opinion only I've only run them for about a week and a half two weeks but this is what I've learned so far as far as comfort goes the uh, Toro wins in that category with the my ride suspension very comfortable mower the walkers not bad don't get me wrong but the Toro is definitely better to me it's more comfortable as far as uh, maneuverability I'm gonna give it to the walker like I mentioned in a video the other day, the controls take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, it didn't take me too long, but it just seems to stick a little bit better. You'll be able to get around trees a little quicker, a little smoother. So I'm going to go with uh, maneuverability to the walker. Now as far as speed goes, I think that the Toro is a little bit faster, but I don't know for sure. I haven't really opened them up on uh, you know any section of lawn just yet. And we've got a lot of bumps and obstacles and things like that. So I really don't know which one is just flat out faster. If you'd like to see maybe a drag race or something between the two, let me know in the comments. We could probably work that out and do something there. But yeah, so far comfort goes to Toro. Maneuverability goes to Walker. Speed, that's kind of up in the air. Uh, side hill and climbing hills, the Walker just by a hair. Uh, it did do a little bit better. I was able to get up that bank down there a little further with the walker than I could the Toro But uh, like I said the, the uh, walker was breaking traction I had to kind of get a run at it But I was able to do a little bit more and that's less you got to run a string trimmer Plus the walker I do know was a little bit better on the side hill than the Toro and as far as quality of cut goes That's a really close call. Uh, I really haven't run them quite enough to, to be able to tell you that but I'm leaning towards the walker on quality of cut. I'm just not, I'm just not there yet, but uh, that's pretty much my opinion so far on these two. Oh, and another category is power. You know, when you're in tall, thick grass or weeds. Uh, right now, I'm going to go with the walker, but I haven't run the Toro in anything uh, real thick yet, so I'm, I might just hold off on that. I don't know the answer to that one yet. 
So bottom line is this, they're both really good mowers, but let's say your number one priority is comfort and you're trying to decide between this walker and that Toro, you'd probably go with the Toro. It's just a little bit more comfortable. If all you care about is like maneuverability and getting around trees and quality of cut, things like that, probably want to lean towards the walker. Uh, but that's about all I have to say so far on these two. We'll run these things another couple weeks and uh, and we'll have a regular scorecard, you know what I mean? And we'll kind of break it all down at the end of this. And then uh, after these two motors, we'll get a couple more and try them out and just keep going with this. And uh, hopefully you find these helpful. But like I said before, everybody has different needs and wants when it comes to a mower. Most people don't even need a commercial mower like this. Uh, but if you have a large property, and obviously if you're cutting grass for a living, you definitely want a commercial mower. But a lot of people don't even need something like this. But if you don't like mowing and you've got a bunch of property, something like this is a way to go because you're going to be done really fast. Oh, two things before I forget. The uh, Bantam Jeep Festival in Butler, Pennsylvania is on June 7th. Uh, it's a Friday evening. Melissa and I will be there with our Jeep. You don't need a Jeep to attend or anything like that. There will be thousands of Jeeps there. We'll be parked right on Main Street. We'd love to meet you if you want to come out and uh, say hi. We'll be there. And the other thing is, I'm asking for a huge favor here now. Now, I asked a few weeks ago, if you've never made a comment before, you know, let me know where you're from. If you've never subscribed and you watch all our videos and you enjoy them, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But this is the next level right here. I'm going to ask everyone, you know, pick one of our videos that you like, even this one or something, and, you know, send in an email to somebody that's uh, into the same types of things we are. I just kind of want to do a little test here and see if that uh, makes a difference. Things are going fantastic with the channel. We just need a few more people that kind of like to do the same things that we all like to do, and uh, that would be really cool. So if you don't mind, you know, copy and paste this and send it in an email or a Facebook page or whatever. Find a video, though, or find a video that you enjoy and, uh, and share it. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.